Hello everyone, good evening and welcome and very sorry it took us time to join in with you here. Um, can you all hear me? Just let me know. Hi everyone. So we are here for, as you see, uh, the topic is that how can you score or how can you enhance your reading score, right? IELTS reading score. And that too quickly. So we have done uh, other uh, videos on IELTS reading. But then this is something where I'm going to give you step-by-step -step guidance on how you can enhance your score. So quickly, let's get started. Just quickly join in. Let me know in the chat box. Let's all get active, okay, so that these things uh, can be shared with you, the important points I would uh, convey. You can also grab it all. To tell you learners, first of all, uh, when it comes to IELTS reading, there are a lot of uh, factors because of which your score goes down, right? But then why and how uh, you would like what steps you need to take so let me start one by one the very first thing that you need to do in your for your to enhance your score is once you are done you know all the question types you know the strategy and approaches to all these question categories that are there in IELTS reading after that you have to take a full test full and test for reading section. That's step number one. So like I said that this is step-by-step -step guidance. So I'm going to guide you one by one. So pay close attention. If you have queries, you can put it in the chat box. I'll be more than happy to help you, okay? So step number one is once you are done with all the concepts, you know all the question types, you are first thing that you're going to do is you will attempt a full mock for uh, reading section. 60 minutes, right? You have that entire mock. So you're going to take that, but not under the timed conditions. So first mock that you take after entire preparation is without timing yourself. So you will take as much time it is taking. Fine, you are not going to worry about the time or anything, nothing. The first mock, fine. Once it is done, the step number two comes, which no one does. You have to be honest enough to tell me that, do you analyze once you take a test? After the test, what we do? Okay, these are correct. These many are wrong. Out of 40, I got 20 correct, 20 wrong. But you never analyze what type of questions went wrong or what was the level of complexity. Is it something? What is bothering me? Or what was there in the test or the questions, entire pattern or the question paper that actually troubled me? You never analyze that. You have to do that. So after taking without uh, any timer or anything, second thing you're going to do is you will analyze that set. You will keep, you will check how many correct how many incorrect, okay? Once you take that, you've checked how many correct, how many incorrect responses are there. You will see the incorrect ones, okay? First, that, okay, these are the question types where I am not that um, comfortable or with these question types, I'm not that comfortable. I need to work more on these, make note of those question types. Okay, that's number two, step number two. Now, in this step only, you will also make note of question types which you are you're fine with, you're good at. So let's say in one side you've written, okay, fill in the blank or sentence completion, summary completion is fine for me, but true, false, not given or multiple choice questions which are major, like we discussed in the last session also. These are the question types which trouble me the most. Fine. Now, you third step comes here after you've analyzed the question types. So remember, I'm talking about the question types that bother you. Do not rely on what score you fetch. Oh, I got only 20 and you're just 
um, you're just uh, up, you're upset and you completely are like, oh God, I ruined it. No, nothing to bother. Fine. After this, you're going to go with, uh, you will take these individual question types. Okay. Those who are already there with us, learners who are on board, we provide you itemized and sectional practice tests. So they, they are there. If you need any help with that, let us know in the comment section. We'll help you with that. But then you have to go with those item-wise questions and those sectional questions, okay? You have to practice them with complete dedication, okay? Okay. Hello, Geeta. Good, good evening. So we're talking of reading. So I was telling you that once you've analyzed the question types that bother you, Geeta, in IELTS reading specifically, you have to then look forward to or look, go for that. Okay, I'll practice now. I'll practice MCQs. Take two sets of MCQs, three sets of MCQs and just practice MCQs. Or if it's true, false, not given questions, then practice true, false, not given. You have to practice those question categories. Okay. Which question type troubles you the most in IELTS reading? Tell me. Which is the quest, specific question type in IELTS reading that bothers you or that troubles you the most? Geeta or anyone else who wants to just quickly let me know. See, the, the, it could be any, but then majorly we, we've come across that most of the students face trouble with um, true, false, not given or MCQs, right? Uh, in fact, matching also or match the heading in in case of matching. Fine. So there can be different, but then you have to sit and analyze that. That's important. So after this, once you've practiced it sectionally, okay, uh, once you've practiced all these uh, question types, which trouble you in one by one, one day to one question type, or maybe in one day you take two question types and you practice them. Okay, that will be fine. Now, when you are attempting the question type at that moment, you also have to check whether when you locate the keywords, are you locating the correct keywords? Are they really helping you out in terms of locating your answer and to fetch your correct answer? If not, then you have to check whether you're picking the correct words or not. This can also be a trouble and this is a trouble for many. So learners, these steps, if you follow, it's going to do wonders for you in terms of IELTS reading. Okay. So once you, uh, you've you done that, uh, the question practice, you check whether your approach towards those questions are going correct. Let's say you practice two sets of uh, MCQs, but still nothing is helping you. You have to check whether I'm approaching it correctly, whether I'm the words that I'm picking, are these the correct keywords? If you need help, you have to take help of your mentors. Okay. You have to seek help. You just go through the question, read with use some other keywords. What are majorly the keywords in IELTS reading? You have to look for action words, naming words, and words of quality and quantity. Majorly these three, I repeat, action words, naming words and words of quality and quantity is what you should look forward to in terms of your keywords. You have to find that out. You have to look whether you're locating the right words. Okay. Then only you can, uh, then only you can find out the appropriate information for your answer. Otherwise, you'll be just beating around the bush and it will not be fruitful at all. All right, everyone. I hope this is there set in within you, settling in and you're planning that, okay, fine, I'm going to plan it this way, then I'm going to go this way, then this step, then one by one. So step-by-step step guidance, like I mentioned, and that's what we are going with, fine? Now, after you have uh, practiced, analyzed it thoroughly, then I see this is something that has been, it, it's a uh, proven Okay, tested method with a lot of learners of ours and it is working. It is doing really well. Students come to us like with their scores really low in reading, but then they follow these steps and they easily score 
one 1.5 plus like as in their band scores minimum 1.5 above like if they're scoring five they would score at least 6.5 or plus only if they're getting six they would go seven or 7.5 so that's what that's the difference because you don't know how to analyze your growth how to analyze your errors if you do that and this is where in this session you're fetching that you get the getting that guidance how to analyze your mistakes okay and how to prosper how to how to actually work on those and fix them and move ahead after practicing all of that okay once you are done you've uh, noted your errors your approach strategies you fixed now what now you take another test full mock for reading and that full mock that you're going to take will be under time conditions now okay because you've practiced a lot different question types you've practiced you've sat and uh, you've analyzed your errors you know you you are now quick okay you will be better in terms you'll be, you'll be quicker in terms of attempting the questions so now is the time that you take the full mock for reading in or under timed conditions 60 minutes you have to attempt it full that's when after you worked on on all your approaches you've analyzed your errors you've fixed it you are now going to work on your time management how many of you just say yes or no how many of you think that in ielts reading time management is a challenge for you quickly tell me in the chat yes everyone quickly tell me in the chat just yes or no how many for how many of you time management is a challenge in ielts reading is it or is it fine like you you believe that okay i somehow manage it it's not a big deal for me yes i'm waiting for your responses learners want to know from you what um thoughts you have what what do you face generally when you attempt a question or the entire reading pattern how it goes for you how things work for you it's the biggest challenge dipti says it's the biggest challenge this is why this is why i'm stressing on it 60 minutes and see you can use this rule 15 20 25 there are three reading passages learners right So when you have three reading passages, use this strategy. Fifteen minutes on your first passage because that is the easiest passage. You will not find much of your brain going into it, and you won't be draining also in terms of energy. So passage one is the easiest. Invest fifteen minutes. Passage two, you should invest twenty minutes. Okay, and passage three, save the most for it. Twenty-five minutes. okay so 15 20 25 that's the rule thumb rule that you have to apply to hello ram so we're talking of what how you can manage your time in terms of ielts reading so 15 20 25 this is the clear thumb rule and you will yourself see see there are people who finish passage 1 in 12 13 minutes also so with time and practice you can also try and attempt that's why i said when i started with the session the first step i quoted was that you start uh, you start your practice with full test but do not put a timer first once you've analyzed once you've fixed your errors then you take another mock where you sit under the uh, time conditions you put yourself on timer and then you practice the entire set 